Peace and Black Power family. Welcome to another edition of Baba TV. Before I get started, I just want to give a loving and powerful shout out to my big brother, your big brother, Sonetta, whose Earth Day it is today. He's 55 years strong. We always want to continue to hear from the originator and the innovator, our brother, Sonetta. And you already see on the screen, family, we will be down uh, in support of our brother and attorney, Malik Zulu Shabazz, from the 18th uh, to the 22nd. The House of Consciousness family will be in the house and present. And after that family, you know what it is. We are all getting ready July 7th on Baba's Earth Day. He turns 50 years old. What better Earth Day could I have than to spend my birthday at the Sarnetta TV Awards. The Sarnetta TV Awards. So um, we got a lot coming up, family, and I hope to see you all very soon. Peace and black power. I'm glad I know him no more in my life. He wasn't the man that he is now, but guess what? He changed. He saw that there had to be a change. He had to make that change within himself because ain't nobody can make that change for you but you. I had to make that change for me. And I thank God I made that change. Power to the people. Yo, man, uh, listen, I want all y'all to vote for me, man. I'm up for awards uh, on Saturday Night TV. Yo, Bob, come over here and, and give them the site, man, one more time, man. Uh, where, how they go to vote and uh, you actually vote for me. Okay, I got you, brother. All right, family, it's www.SarnettaTVAwards.com. That's www.SarnettaTVAwards.com. And you'll scroll all the categories that Brother Sarnetta has, and you'll see um, our Baba Seville in one of those categories. And vote for our brother. Vote for our brother. Peace. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, so I um, want everybody to vote, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, and you know, cast your brother a vote, man. Because you know, I'm out here doing the work. Now I'm out here, man, you know what I'm saying, trying to save my people. I'm also out here, man, trying to bring us back together, man. Because Amen. Amen. at the end of the day, man, a Catholic has to get with a Muslim. A Catholic has to get with a Protestant. A Protestant has to get with a Buddha. I don't care what you believe in, man. At the end of the day, we are all black people, man. And we got to unify. We got to unify, man. I don't care what your belief system is. We have to believe in ourselves. And we have to unify with ourselves at the end of the day. It's too much division, which is religion, man. I ain't got, I don't knock what nobody believes in. I really don't. But we need to believe in this black skin that's being um, abused. We gotta believe in this black skin that's being uh, 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 torn apart yes. on TV. You know what I'm saying? I, I, and we're not being respected, man, all these years, man. We come off the plantation, we still ain't respected as a full-fledged man because they had some of us as slaves, that all of us have been on that plantation. I want that to be noted. All black people was not in slavery in America. You had some black people that were free, yes. you know what I'm saying, that had a uh, power in America, man, but they don't talk about that. They talk about slavery. But they don't talk about the people, the indigenous people that were already here. They had empires already here. The Aztecs and all the rest of these people that was here building pyramids over there, you know what I'm saying, what, what, what they call Mexico. You know what I'm saying? In South America. You know what I'm saying? North America, man. You know what I'm saying? Listen, we are the first people on the planet, man. Yes. These people are scared to death of us, man. Yeah. That's why they want to kill our babies in the street like that young man that just killed. You know what I'm saying? Ran up on a man in his grandmother's backyard and shot him 20 times. Have you ever heard anything? That black man was in his grandmother's backyard and they shot him 20 times. And, he, and they said he had a gun, he had a cell phone, man. You gotta watch these white people, man. And you gotta watch these black people that think like white people, man. That don't love us. Now there are people in our community that's that there's that, that, a part of our community. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I have a connection with the police officers, man. I sit down and talk to them. So I know who they are. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm not saying all people are not bad. But if they're gonna be in our community, then we have to have the communications. Yes. We have to be able to sit down and talk. 
about what's going on in our community, man. This is not their community. This is our community, man. And we got to take control of our community once again, man. You got to come out to these meetings, man, that they're having. All these stuff they're building up in our community. They have meetings about this. But a lot of people in Brownville don't come out to the meetings, man. You don't come out to find out what's going on in your community. But y'all be hiding about where they're building a hotel over here. And they're building a hotel over here. And they're building a jail over here. None of y'all come out to the meetings. You know what I'm saying? To find out what's going on in your communities, man. They want this community back. That's right. They want this community back. I'm going to say it again. You know what I'm saying? The highest rents are in Brooklyn, man. All over the country. The highest rents are in Brooklyn. Not Manhattan, but Brooklyn. This is where they, the rent is sky high, man. So y'all gotta understand, man, that gentrification is real. These people are coming back, and they want this back. Unless we unify and get ourselves together, man. Listen, at the end of the day, like this brother here, man, my foundation was Islam. You know what I'm saying? I had to learn my 120. I had to learn my alphabets. You know what I'm saying? I had to learn, I had to learn my student enrollment. That was my foundation of how I learned and how I got to the capacity of, of knowledge of where I am now because I understood that knowledge had to be a foundation, the manifestation of wisdom and then the elevation of understanding. Then I understand the culture and then I understood I had power. And then I understood that I was God. And then I understand I had to go through a process of build or destroy. And then I was born and then I understand that it was a knowledge of a cipher. Wow. And that was complete 360 degrees. And that was the manifestation Come on, back then in them Come. days. So this the root comes from here, man. We used to walk around these community, man, teaching, man, be on these streets, every day teaching, man, having, ha having ciphers, man, building. It's not like that today, but I can remember when it was like that, man. So I'm still having my ciphers out here with y'all right now as I speak. We got a guard here, we got a guard over here, you know what I'm saying, you know, listen. It's all about teaching people who don't know what you know. It's all about giving back. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. Passing on that knowledge, man. Passing on that information. That's what it's about. Come on over here, man. Yeah, you, 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 you lax the days ago, man. Come on, brother. Give these brothers, man, and sisters, man, some insight. What you think a man is and what you think a woman is and what they are not. Well, uh, since you since you mentioned what the woman are and what the man is, Adam' first wife was Hagar. She was before Eve, and her and the Creator had a discussion. She wanted to be equal to Adam, and the Creator told her that he made her to be under his wings. She said to the creator, says, well, okay, put me to the bottom of the sea if I can't be equal to him. Put me to the bottom of the sea again. So he says, all right, since you want to go to the bottom of the sea, create a word with her, okay, I'll put you to the bottom of the sea. Okay, now, if you want to look at reality now, I notice it and I watch it all the time. You got, you got, you, 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 you got females that drive in uh, motormans, subways, buses, whatever we do. She said to God that she wanted to be equal. So if you look at it now, she's coming up out of that sea to be equal to us and do the same exact thing that we are doing. What you got to say about that, brother? Now, he said something about Adam and the creation. What you got to say about the creation story? <laughs> I'm going to say peace. We're going to take it into Proverbs chapter 9, verses 9. For those who read the Bible. It said, give instruction 
to a wise man and he will still be wiser but teach a just man and he will increase in learning now you came to me as a wise man so when you depart you will be as you came wise a just man is one who remain quiet through the knowledge so that he can increase in learning. If you talk and I talk, there is no one to learn. So this is what we have to do, my brother. We have to be wise and just. Learn to keep this shut, because the air, you could tell the air anything. The air hear a lot of stories. This right here, you could deceive this all day. You could promise the ear and disappoint the heart all day. The ear hear a lot, but the eyes, when the eyes see what the ear heard and it's not in accordance, that's called contradiction. That's called full of it. And the worst kind of full of it is a mixture of it. Now let's go into the origin of all that from all things that began. We're going to deal with the reality of the situation of our youngs because they the ones that to keep this struggle together. They're going to carry on. They got to be the one that keep this torch going. Yeah. I remember back in the days how we used to play tick to chan, how we used to play house. Spin the I remember back in the days, every Sunday, we used to go get a Sunday dinner for moms, grandmoms. I remember how we used to push, made our own go kart. But now today, a five year old don't look like a five year old. A ten year old don't look like a ten year old. The food they're eating. Me up a little bit, Bob, can't get out of the, store. the food they're eating, the knowledge they receiving. A five-year-old don't look like a five-year-old no more. A five-year-old look like it's twelve. Wow, what they got yeast? A nineteen-year-old don't look like a nineteen. He look like he's forty. And then you got those brothers like you and I, that's 50, 60, and we look much younger than our age. Is an offer to pull. It is a blessing that we are still here. Every day, they're trying to lessen the strength of us. Look at Roots. How they used to play Roots. You don't see it no more. Because that's knowledge. They beat this man because he was reading the book. Knowledge is so free. They got, they got a lot of educational system out here, a lot of network, but you refuse to go seek and get it. Back in the days, if the slave master kept you reading the book, you were getting slaves. They took our black beautiful women, cut open the stomach, squashed the baby head, pace. Feed them to the alligators for bait. Yeah. Now in the day. They bring these little Caucasian white little girls in the community and you young brothers just want to integrate. You want to destroy the race of your people. It ain't nothing like a beautiful black sister. When Black History Month came in February, what did you do? I asked this dude, I said, listen, today is Puerto Rican Day Festival, where you going? I'm going to the Puerto Rican festival, all right, but you black. Irish Day come. I said, it's the Irish Day parade, where you going? I'm going to the Irish Day, all right, but you black. But when the Jew Day come, where you going? Nowhere. Why? Because the Jews shut things down. They shut the bank down. They shut the school down. And they go home and count their money. Now, ain't that power? When the Jews have their day, the court's not open, the bank's not open, the school's not open, 
and they go home and count their money. They don't walk around here with big chain on, platinum rings. You got to understand the struggle, brother. This is a systematic struggle. They got it where as far as your kid, you hit your kid, your kid called 911, lock you up. <laughs> Check out the structure of this Caucasian, this European blue-eyed cracker. You hit your kid, lock you up. Mommy just hit me with a broomstick. Well, we're coming to lock your moms up. A five-year-old locking his moms up. Now, you hit your woman in front of the kids. Now they take the kids away. Where they put the kid at? In a foster kid. Now another institution is raising them. From the institution, they're going to the jail structure. You know the three patterns we went to, man? We went from the plantation to the penal institution and the last place we went is the ghetto. From the plantation to the institution to the ghetto. You talk about having a veteran day? You know what a veteran day is? A person who went to Vietnam and fought the Chinese, the rice eaters. You heard what Malcolm X said. They ain't do nothing to us. So you a veteran, you get paid and your pension come from the United States. Well, I'm going to tell you who I am. I'm a veteran. I live in the ghetto. Every day is war. I got to fight all types of nationalities. The Spanish, the Dominicans, the Arabs, the Jamaicans, the Caucasians. So you talk about having a veteran day, we need to have a veteran day. Because every day is war. Mental war and physical war. And a lot of you young sisters, y'all got to stop diking and get the fight. A lot of you young brothers be trading manhood and becoming homosexuality is, is extreme in the city. You got these young brothers turning into or trying to turn into a woman. And then you got this young sisters trying to turn into a man. This is how confused the Caucasian got us going. A sister don't want to talk to a brother. He read what she read to talk to another sister. Gayality, homosexuality is destroying our race of people. You got to watch your youngs. Uh, they start and talk funny okay, at a young okay. age. Catch you. Catch you. A baby is not created by two men. A baby is not created by two women. Homosexuality and dyking is going crazy in the street. And you brothers got to leave that K2 alone, too. They tell you, on the package of that K2, it is not proper for human consumption. It's destroying us. Destroying the mentality. You got to come home, man. Come home to the knowledge itself. It's about paying bills. It's about taking care of the family. It's about reaching out to your family. You gotta start getting your youngs back together, man. Even though you're not dealing with the wisdom, that kid is still your kid. 
It's about connecting your family, man. You dead be dead. Start reaching out to your kids, man. That's right. We got a lot of work to do, bro. That's right. You dead be dead. Start connecting back to your kids, man. Right. Let your kids know who they sisters and their brothers. You don't want to see your daughter marrying your son because they never knew they were brothers and sisters. Back. Come on, man. We got to connect, bro. There's a lot of work for us to start doing, man. Look into your home, bro. Matthew chapter 7, chapter 7. Says, seek and you should find. Action it should be given Woo. and knocking the door should be open. Woo. And right underneath that same chapter, Matthew chapter 7, verses 8, it said, Everyone who have seek have found. And everyone who have asked, it has been given. And everyone who have knocked, the door been open. Who woke you up this morning? The doctor said your leg and you ain't gonna walk no more. We came from a praying family. Two months you start walking again. It's he who created all things. Who know your thoughts, who know your ideas. We gotta get ourselves back together, bro. You got brothers that's 60 and 70 and 50 can't read or write. But Reach back out to institutions, man. Reach back out to them educational institutions, man. We got a lot of our young brothers behind them balls. Giving out reptile skin number. You 17 years old, and they giving you 25 to life. 17 years old, them crackers giving us reptile skin numbers. Come on, brothers. Come on, sisters. Take off them tight pants and look cultural. Get your life back together. Get the knowledge yourself back together. Let's go, brothers. It's time. We got a lot of work to do. A lot of work. And I'm going to say peace. Proton, electron, atom created energy. Come on, bro. We the original people. We the origin of all the that from which y'all think. The leader of came. it all. Adam. Even our wisdoms, even our women's, Harriet Tubman, the underground train. Now we driving the train. Rose Parker sat on the back of the bus. Now we driving the bus. When Obama got in office, that was a beautiful thing because that shows hope is still alive. That shows that if he made it, the next one could make it. Even though it took a long time. Uh -huh. But Otis Red said, It's been a long time coming, but change is going to come. Thank you, my brother. Thank and you, don't forget thank it was the black you. house before thank it was the white house. Thank you, 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 man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Electrons, neutrons, and protons. Ah. You know what I'm saying? You know, at the end of the day, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. How you doing? You know what I'm saying? See, we got to understand like this brother, like me, and like this brother here, man, we all been to those schools of thought. Come on. We understand the significance of knowledge. Yes. And you have to study, man. You can't just uh, lay down and, and not study and not read and not research. We you gotta do all of this. That we are survivors. That's who we are. We are survivors. And let me put it to you simple. When our mother and our father, we got together and made us, there was billions of sperms going up to that egg. And we was fighting each other to get up there just like how we fighting each other down here in reality here now. We are going through that challenge all over again. Just what we did in the billion sperm travel, going up to that egg after our mother and father made us. We are fighting each other to get to that egg. We are doing that out here right now in survival. We are survival. We went through it then and we are going to go through it again. We are the seed 
the unconditional love number one it's no seed like the black seed we are number one